What's going on? So, today, we're going to be talking about this. This is the Pentax K1000. digital professional photographer and I am coming to film for the first time. Actually, I'm not necessarily the first time. I just sent my second roll of film in to be developed and we're going to talk about my first roll of film. This is the Pentax K1000. It's a 35mm film camera. Uh, this is a single lens reflex. Uh, nothing fancy. All mechanical. It does have an electronic light meter in it. That is the only thing that has that is electronic. Everything else is manual. Manual focus, manual aperture. It is a 50 millimeter lens, f2 to f22. Um, other than that, there really is nothing fancy about this. The film that I shot was some cheap Fuji Xperia, which is known for having kind of a greenish tinge to it, which is fine. I wanted something cheap to play with in case the shutter mechanism or something was wrong and it just wasn't shooting right, rather than wasting some you know expensive high dollar film. So let's take a look at my first photo on the roll. Our first photo on the roll was this right here, which is one of my neighbor's barns. Now, this photo is not great. Um, I remember when I took this photo, it was a really nice sunset. There were some really vibrant colors, and I thought the color film would really bring that out, and it didn't. I think there was just too much dynamic range here to try and bring out. And uh, I don't know. I think I still kind of like this photo, but it's not that great. If we zoom in on this photo, it's very, very grainy inside the shadow areas, which, you know, I would expect. That's not a big deal to me. I'm not a huge, uh, I don't have a huge problem with noise or grain or anything like that. But anyway, this is the first photo, and I don't want to dwell on this photo too long. This is the second one. Again, you know, it's the first roll of film, and I'm kind of shooting different things to get a feel for how... It handles different lighting situations. Now, this photo was shot indoors, and of course, my dog's just laying in my lap, and it looks nice. I shot this handheld at, if I recall correctly, a 15th of a second. And I remember when I fired off the shutter, he jumped up and looked at me, and I thought this photo was going to be completely trash because of that. It would have been if it was digital. And uh, this photo actually doesn't look that bad. The co light colors look a little weird. I, again, you know, the green tinge. Not a huge fan of that, but um, <clears throat> if I wanted to use this photo or fix that, I could change that in Lightroom. This photo I actually really like. I have taken several photos of this tractor before in the past, and um, I don't like any of them nearly as much as this one. This one's actually probably one of my favorite shots. I took this photo through the guardrails of a trailer that we have, and uh, this film did a fantastic job with the green tones of the leaves and the foliage, the orange of these flowers that are growing on the tractor, and of course the blue of the tractor. The blue of the tractor looked absolutely fantastic, and I'm really happy with it. Here we have a, oh, what was this tree? Dogwood tree. I couldn't remember for a split second. And uh, I like this photo as well. I actually have fa I fairly like this one. It handled the colors really well. Um, I love that 35 millimeter bokeh that we're getting from this f2 50 millimeter lens and uh, they handled the reds of the berries really well the greens of the foliage really well and we got this photo right here of a puppy and this wasn't the one I was going for because they decided they was gonna do what puppies do and move around too much then we switch over to this one and this one was pretty good I think I could have been a little bit closer but puppies are puppies uh, the sharpness of these photos is really great I'm happy with these you can see all their individual hairs you can see individual details this one I think I was trying to get a little abstract with this one and like I said I still I wasn't sure how the photos were gonna look off of the film so I was experimenting with different types of looks and different lighting conditions, different color conditions, and uh, it didn't look quite like I anticipated it would. I would have much rather had 
used a polarizing filter to cut back on the reflection of the water and kind of make it uh, black water on the green of the uh, foliage there, or the, the light pads. This was an interesting day, this photo here. And uh, I think the film handled this scene extraordinarily well, better than digital. Uh, my digital did not handle the scene very well, in my opinion. Um, it was just extremely contrasty because you have full sun on these trees and you have these storm clouds behind these trees that made it really dark. One thing I don't like is these power lines here. The power lines always bug me. Um, some of my uh, people that follow the you know, photos that I take actually wanted the power lines to stay in there and instead of me photoshopping them out. So they're there. Now this next one. This was moments, literally moments later, not even five minutes later, like a minute later, if that. Um, this rainstorm, the storm was coming directly towards me down the James River. And we had this beautiful rainbow that just came out of nowhere. And we got this reflection right here on the lower corner of the water. This next photo, I shot it vertical to try and show more of the reflection in the water. And again, compositionally wise, I'm not super happy with these photos. But I am happy with them because I caught a rare occurrence of a very vibrant rainbow. And the film captured the rainbow very, very well, in my opinion. This photo is, is interesting. Uh, I wouldn't say it was one of my best. But it, I think it's composed fairly well. Um, I focused on the bend and the boards on the left hand side there. And... Um, yeah, I think it handled it pretty well. The lighting was pretty, not really nice. Got some water settling down there, and it handled the colors really well. The colors look really nice. This one, I don't remember exactly what I was thinking, what I was trying to go for. I think I was going for more of a silhouette, and the dynamic range just really shined here. You can see an incredible amount of dynamic range. Um, it handled the colors really well, and the deep shadows and uh, the bright highlights look like they're uh, unrecover look like they were unrecoverable possibly um, I don't know I'm not a fan of this photo it's not my best work this one right here I like this photo I think I could have done something better I'm not sure what it looks like I was a little sideways and I can fix that just by cropping it a little bit straightening it in Lightroom but um I have a different version of this photo that I shot digitally that I like way better than this one but um, I think the film handled this fairly well and yeah this little town was a little town that I stopped in to let my vehicle rest while I was on a long drive and uh, it was a cute little town um, I just kind of walked around and took a few photos here and there and uh, this photo is definitely not perfectly horizontal or perfectly straight yeah, but I actually kind of like it in a way. I'm not a huge fan of you know development and developed anything for that matter. But I actually kind of like this photo. I think it turned out interesting. And same thing for this one, just vertical. It handled the colors fantastically. Tried a little bit of macro action here. Um, I like the photo. I think I could have composed this a lot better. Uh, I think I was trying to get the this three flowers right here as the prominent subjects, but I should have went with something different. I don't feel like it handled the colors of these flowers very well, but overall I think it did fairly fine. <clears throat> this photo I really like. Uh, I would like it a lot better if I could have zoomed in a little bit more or cropped in more, but on the contrary, having this wide open space around these trees and this deep, dense fog really helps to show the extreme isolation of these trees. And in a way, it kind of makes the photo better, and in a way, it kind of doesn't. Uh, it, it's kind of up to the viewer to decide that. But I do like this photo, aside from that green tinge. I don't feel like the green tinge complements this photo. This would have but been much better suited for black and white. And I can convert that digitally. But uh, we're looking at it as is, straight off the uh, roll. I remember this photo and I remember being really excited for this photo and it did not come out at all. The digital version of it also just, it didn't come out. 
like I wanted it to, and I'm, I don't know, I, I possibly, I'm, nah, I didn't compose it very well, there's a couple things I could have done better, uh, I think the light, I was fighting the light a little bit, because I um, didn't have time to stop and set up a tripod and actually get a proper exposure, uh, because I was being harassed by some yellow jackets, apparently I was near a nest. So I had enough time to real quickly try and snap this shot and I snapped the digital one as well. And I'm not super happy with it. It's not something I would brag about. <clears throat> Same thing with this one. Nothing I would brag about. <clears throat> this one was more of a test of the colors to see how it handled these orange leaves that were sitting on the rocks with the greens, the color of the water, the color of the background. And... <clears throat> I feel like it didn't handle it that well. Uh, this probably would have been better suited for a warmer toned uh, film stock. But, you know, you live and you learn. You know, I, don't, I don't feel like I've done bad for my first roll of film. Um, this shot right here, um, I actually rather like this one. I think it should be a little bit darker. And if I wanted to use this one, I would probably just, you know, underexpose it slightly in Lightroom to make it a little bit darker and a little bit more contrasty. But, uh, I think the film stock handled it really well. This photo is... I have mixed feelings about this photo because I actually like the photo itself. But compositionally, I feel like it's in poor taste. Um, I remember these trees. And these trees were really tall. And I was standing on top of a few different things trying to shoot over them. To see the landscape and the fog. And uh, some texture in the trees in the background there. And... It just didn't work out the way I wanted it to. And that was purely because I just couldn't get myself physically where I needed to physically be in order to take the photo. But I do actually personally rather like this shot. <clears throat> this one, I'm not proud of this one. <laughs> this is a pretty spot. This is a really pretty spot. And yeah, you know, the light was just really harsh. It was really contrasty and it washed out the color of the fall foliage that was in this one. This one, again, I'm not super proud of this one. Um, I do like it personally, but I'm not super proud of it as a compositional piece. Um, I like the other ones that I was able to capture with my telephoto better. And that was how I was able to capture the best images from this particular scene as I used a telephoto for my um, digital camera. This one's not too bad. It's not too bad. This one, I kind of like it personally. Again, it handled the colors rather well. This is a plant called chicory, or uh, for us also heard it called bachelor's button. And I think it handled the colors of this particular plant rather well. And I think I could have composed it better, but I wasn't super interested in, or I wasn't trying to make a, like a art piece with this one. There really wasn't a way to compose this great there probably was better ways, but with the limitations of the lens, I wasn't able to get where I felt like I needed to be in order to get this shot. This one, I remember this one, um, definitely off kilter. I uh, had a hard time trying to find focus on this one. And as we can see, this one's definitely out of focus, but I had a really hard time finding a good focus point for this one. But um, otherwise, I rather like it. It handled the colors really well. And I love that 35 millimeter bokeh. That just, that's real soft, creamy background there. That's, it just looks nice. Aside from it being off kilter and out of focus. This mushroom here, um, I think it handled it pretty well. I think in real life, the oranges were a lot more punchy than that. But it did a pretty good job with handling this. And of course, Bubba, it did a pretty good job here. This was a, another old town that I stopped in to check out a trail. And the trail actually cuts through the town itself. So I was on, actually on a different trail altogether. And the trail just happened to cut through the town. I actually rather like this photo here. Um, I really like this photo. Uh, these trees right here frame this building in, this really old building. Uh, I love the, the color of the reds in the brick. Um... The reflection in the window panes and the glass, I think this photo actually came out 
really well and I'm, in a way I'm kind of embarrassed to say that I like it as much as I do because I'm such a, um, a nature person and an anti-establishment person in my photography. I almost never shoot anything man-made. I'm not a fan of man-made things. Uh, I try to stick with strictly landscapes and strictly nature stuff and um, even despite that I really like this photo. This photo came out really well in my opinion. I remember what I was thinking with this one. This was a, on the same trail. Um, I sat here for a moment because I wanted to catch a car going right through that intersection right there or a person walking through and it's a little off center off kilter um, even though yeah and the yellow from the lines didn't pick up very well. It was a gloomy day. It was a gloomy day. Um, I'm not a fan of this one. I thought this one would come out a lot better than it would because my intention, my, yeah, what I was thinking was this line from the yellow line in the road would lead out of this corner, lead your eye straight through the scene, into the car, and then down this road to this building right here. It probably would have been a lot more interesting with a more dramatic sky. Um, I'm not sure what else I could have done to make that better. <clears throat> and of course, I had to throw in a photo of my girlfriend here. Um, I wanted to test out the, you know, the portraits just, just to see how it is, you know, compared to, you know, my familiarity with film I mean digital. And I'm really happy with it. But again, that 35 millimeter bokeh from the F2 lens, uh, I think it handled the skin tones really well, captured plenty of detail and did a good job. I was going for kind of a reflection look here and um, yeah I don't think the lighting complemented this scene. Probably would have went for a different day or a different scene but again not much to say about this one. Not much to say about this one either. I'm not super happy with this one. I remember what I was going for and it just didn't translate onto photo very well. I will shoot this scene uh, differently next time I'm there with a different film stock. This one I'm actually somewhat happy with. We've got these two pine cones here and you've got these two Amanita mushrooms coming up and you've got the veal that's still hanging on right here. Um, I rather like this one. This one, the photo doesn't do it justice. This mushroom was absolutely gargantuan. But nonetheless, I rather like this photo. This photo came out rather well in my opinion. And I think that both of these photos would be better suited in black and white rather than color, but it did well. And that's it. That's all 36 shots. So that's all 36 shots. And my personal opinion, shooting Fuji Xperia, um, ISO 400 400 speed film. I think it's a spring and summer film. I don't think it's a autumn film or uh, a gloomy day film. Um, and that's to be expected. So right now I have some Portra 160 loaded in here. And we'll see how that turns out when I finish that. I've got a, another roll of uh, Fuji Xperia being developed right now as we speak. And uh, when I get those photos back in the next couple days, I'll probably make another video just like this with those photos because I know there's some photos on there that I'm rather excited about. There's already a few photos on this roll that I'm really excited to get back. So my personal opinion of film versus digital, just based off my first roll, is no complaints. I like them both. Um, I think that film is a little bit more of a personal and more rewarding experience. It's more, yeah, it's just more personal. Um, with digital, you can shoot 900 photos in a few seconds, not literally, but you know, close enough to it, and there's no consequences for it. Whereas with film, you've got 36 shots, you've got 24 shots, or you've got two shots, or 10 shots, or whatever kind of film stock you're shooting. Each shot has to matter. Each shot has to have a a more intimate meaning to you and another thing that I like about film is that I feel like the film has a more what's the term a more kind of natural lifelike look to it I think it just captures life better than digital digital is 
in a lot of ways, I feel like digital is too perfect. Um, I like digital as a medium to creatively express myself in the sense of color manipulation and manipulation in general, because I feel like digital gives you a perfect ground zero to turn into anything that you want to turn it into. With film, you're getting what you get. Not necessarily, but for 90% of people with film, what you shoot is what you're going to get. Short of pushing and pulling or dodging and burning in a dark room. Um, and most people aren't going to dodge and burn in a dark room. Um, what I would probably do is dodge and burn the digital files. Just um, have high resolution super scans of these and then dodge and burn those myself. Or you know, creatively, creatively manipulate the photo in Lightroom. But in any case, that's my first impressions, and I look forward to uh, looking at checking out my second roll. Uh, All right. So with that said, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, let me know. If you want to see more, also let me know. And uh, yeah, see you next time.